Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ty Monet. And if you want to see how I went from this hair right here to this beautiful blown out silky, and might I say shiny hair, <laughs> continue watching. This hair has actually been in a bun for the past two weeks and I've been wearing a hat that says bad hair day, which means that I was having a bad hair day for the last two weeks. I'm actually excited about today's video because I got a chance to wash my hair. So my hair is freshly washed. You can see like little drips on my shirt. It's because my hair is actually wet right now. And that is because we were sent a styling tool by Tymo and I'm super excited to get to try it out because for one, blow drying my hair takes like an hour to do and this blow dryer, let me get it for you guys. We received the Tymo Air Hype and I'm actually really hype about receiving it because blow drying mine and my daughter's hair takes me at least an hour and this is supposed to cut down your drying time by half. So I'm super excited about that. So let's see what's in the box. All right, so this looks so cool. We have our, our tool right here, which is the blow dryer. And just at a first glance, it's actually really well, compared to what I'm using right now, which is like very old and I just got it from Walmart, it's actually a clunker. This looks so much smaller and sleeker, so that's super exciting. You have this adjustable diffuser and I'm excited to use this on mine and my daughter's curls. What I'm gonna be using today is this attachment right here, which is the comb attachment. I'm not gonna lie, I have broken many comb attachments. Um, so we'll see how this one holds up. And of course you have your concentrated nozzle right here. Those are the three attachments that come with this, so I'm super excited about that. Okay, this is small and lightweight, but it still has a little weight to it. I can feel that. Okay, not a digital display. Makes me feel fancy and high tech. Okay. All right, so just from the sound of it when I just turned that on, that is way, way, way quieter than my regular blow dryer. So this is just an example of what I mean by the sound of my like old clunker <laughs> is like way louder than the air hype. Hold on, let me show you guys. I always blow dry my hair on high so that's what I that's what I have to deal with normally and just for reference I typically blow dry my hair with my earbuds in my ear just so that I can have something to pass the time by because again it takes an hour the quietness of this is actually gonna allow me to listen to my earbuds when I'm blow drying so I really love that let's go ahead and get into this video and blow dry my hair I'm actually super excited I'm actually gonna dampen my hair a little bit so that I can get the true results of this blow dryer my hair is drying up pretty quickly so yeah let me go ahead and dampen my hair and I'll come back if you guys see me with water all over my shirt just ignore it okay <laughs> I'll be back so I section this side off and we're gonna start on this side I'm just gonna detangle as I go but I'm still gonna use the comb detachment I also noticed that this was magnetic. Okay, and like pulling it off is still pretty hard even though it's magnetic. So that's pretty cool. I'm hoping that it stays on when I blow dry because my current blow dryer, I have to hold it like, and I probably still will hold it like this because that's how I'm used to gripping it. But I have to like grip it really hard for it not to fall off. So we'll see. It only goes up to 210, which is really good to me that would probably indicate that I won't get much heat damage from it, if any at all, honestly. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna leave this on 210 and the highest setting. That's what I do on my on my regular blow dryer. If I had 
Okay, so I just blow dried this little section. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm shook. Um, I don't, first of all, this little nozzle, it does do a pretty good job of staying on. I started um, blow drying my hair like this at first, um, but I'm just more comfortable, honestly, with holding a blow dryer like this. But it stays on when I do this, even through my thick hair. Um, something else that I noticed, I told you guys I was gonna use it on 210. I don't, it doesn't even need to be up that high. I turned it down to 140, and to me, I'm still getting like the same results. I think that, uh, I think that if I left it on 210, uh, it would just get my hair a little straighter, which I'm not about to straighten my hair, so I don't actually need it straight. I'm actually gonna do a timer because I keep stopping and talking to you guys, so I think the timer would be a little bit more accurate. spraying stuff in my hair and, and my phone's been sitting right here so it's been getting all over it I tried to give it a nice wipe but it's just not wiping good enough <laughs> so this is how long it took it took me 49 minutes and if you guys remember I said at the beginning that it typically takes me over an hour to blow dry my hair uh, maybe like an hour 15 hour uh, 20 and I will say that I my battery died, I changed out my battery, and I did a couple other things while I had my um, timer going, or my stopwatch going. So it honestly probably took me less than that time, like maybe 45 minutes. So um, I absolutely love that. I will say that it does take some getting used to holding. If you guys saw me, I did try to do this method to hold the blow dryer, but I kept pressing this top fan button, so I kept turning the fan down, 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 because my hand would hit it right here, if you can see that. And um, so yeah, it takes some getting used to. I was scared to hold it like this because I thought the nozzle was gonna come off, but if you guys saw me, like, I was actually going through my hair and combing it with the combing attachment pretty darn well. Like, like I was actually, getting in there and it stayed on there. So that was surprising. If it was my regular blow dryer, mm -mm. 
so yeah I'm gonna come back to you guys in a few minutes after I just leave my hair for a little bit and I'm gonna take it down and I'm just gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts on this Timo Air Height blow dryer And wow, look how long my hair is. Let me do a, hold on. Let me do a, let me do a length check. I think I showed you guys earlier, but my hair is pretty much um, waist length. If you can see that, I'll back up some. It's waist length. I'll show you guys the back. Uh, but it needs to be trimmed. Um, so I had just taken my hair out of the two strand twist and this is what it looks like. I actually got this serum from Tymo and it is a smoothing and nourishing hair oil. So I'm gonna actually use it while I finger rake through my hair. And it smells, oh, it smells really good. Oh my goodness, look at this. Yes. Okay, so my final thoughts on this blow dryer, y'all. I really, really like it. I've been stuck in the dark ages of hair dryers, so honestly, I've just been using one that I got from Walmart years and years ago. It works, uh, and I never. And I just never, you know, tried anything new. So the Tymo Air Hype is a lot more modern and sleeker than what I'm used to. Guys, I absolutely loved this digital screen display. Um, the different settings that you can put it on. Obviously, most blow dryers, you have your three fan settings and your typical like low, medium and high heat ranges. But to actually see what degree heat <laughs> that is, like I, I love seeing that and the sound. Like, this is so much quieter than my normal blow dryer, so I love that. Again, I will say, like I told you guys earlier, I had to get used to holding it. I, do, I don't have a blow dryer that's like this, so um, holding it like this was not ideal, but holding it by the handle actually was pretty ideal, and this actually holds pretty firm. I will say that the 210, degrees I did not think that it was going to be very hot at all but to me that was a little too hot for my scalp so um, even 180 was pretty hot for me 140 to me was exactly what my hair needed to get stretched out 140 does the job just fine but if you like to get your hair like as straight as possible with a blow dry then by all means two, 210 is what you should be using. My final thoughts are, this is my new blow dryer that I'm using all the time. I cannot wait to use the diffuser attachment. Um, my daughter and myself, we always wear our hair curly, so <laughs> yeah, we are gonna be utilizing that a lot. So I'm excited to have this in my normal routine and I will probably throw away my other blow dryer. <laughs> So again, thank you so much Timo for sending this to me. Let me know in the comments, would you consider buying it or if you have one, do you like it? What are your thoughts about it? Please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this content and if you would like more, uh, drop any comments down below and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.